Hey guys, welcome to TechRite Reviews. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your phone look and feel like it's running stock Android. A few of these tips will also help speed up your phone, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get rid of the unnecessary animations and sounds. To do this, go into Settings, Sound, and then uncheck Keytones, Touch Sounds, and Screen Lock Sound. Next, we're going to download Nova Launcher. This really changes how your device looks and makes it look almost like stock Android. I've already downloaded this, but I'll leave a link down below in the description. Once you have it downloaded, go into Settings, go to Set Default Home, and hit Nova Launcher Always. Once you do that, whenever you press your Home button, instead of getting touch with, you'll get Nova Launcher. I've chosen to disable the status bar because I couldn't find a way to get my status bar to look like stock Android. So if you want to disable yours, just go into Nova setting, look and feel, and you can hit show notification bar. So now you can just toggle between it on and off. Going back into Nova settings, go to your desktop, scroll effect, and from here you can choose from lots of different scroll effects. The tablet scroll effect looks a lot like the stock one, so I chose that. The last thing under Nova settings, go under look and feel, icon theme, and make sure you hit Google KitKat. This will make it look like you're running stock Android, you have all of the new icons. Now that we've made it look like stock Android, we need to make it act like stock Android. Google's been really helpful here, they've uploaded lots of their apps to the Play Store. The first app we need to install is the Google Keyboard. This will replace the TouchWiz keyboard that comes up whenever you type in. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to enable that. Google US Keyboard. Now you have the KitKat Keyboard. When Google released KitKat, they combined the messaging app and Hangouts. So when you open up Hangouts, the update just rolled out a few days ago, you can have your SMS and Hangouts all in one place. So that will replace your messaging app. When you do that, make sure you disable notifications for your old messaging app. You can find that in the settings app of your particular messaging app. Then make sure you download all of the Google apps, including Google Play Music, YouTube, Google Keep for Notes, Google Drive for word processing. You can get the stock Android calculator app. I'll leave a link to all of these down below in the description. The stock camera app is a big one if you like to take lots of photos. You can get the stock camera app one of two ways. You can either download an APK online, which will include Photosphere, or on the Play Store. It's available for $1.99. It's called Camera JB+. Plus. So as you can see, it looks just like the stock Android app. You'll get all of your menu features to select all of your options, settings, it's all there. We'll also come with the stock gallery. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.